Hey there, how are you today? I am coming to you because I'm doing something that I thought maybe I could share with you all. Um, my mom brought me a big bag of apples and they're not quite what I want for myself, but she's just sharing generosity. She knows I will take um, misfit soldiers, which um, can be from pancake mix to apples to canned things that sometimes I don't necessarily use, but um, I think it's really important uh, to appreciate that generosity that somebody has for you. So I, I took them and I will often make, uh, you've seen applesauce or uh, compote or something with berries and fruits and things like that. So what I have, have and I keep out is a peeler and a corer. So I am um, using that today and I thought I'd share, I'm just peeling and coring the apples so that I can use them for something. And, um, you know, they just come out like this. And you know, I'm thinking of there's something I can do with this. I think I'm going to boil these skins down to get me kind of a cider syrup thing for later so that I'm just not throwing this good stuff out. I'm going to take the cores, I think, as well and do that. But I thought I'd share this uh, with you. So these little apples, because it takes too long to peel and cut them and it makes you not want to do anything with them. So here we are busting off through. I hope it does it nicely for us on camera here. All right. How about that? Such a simple thing. This thing, I think, was like 20 bucks at Bat Bath & Beyond, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago is when I got it. And I've been using it a lot more in the pandemic. And because um, my mom brings me over these bags of apples that I'm not necessarily into, I like a specific kind for eating. Um, but I can, um, you know, do something with this and freeze them and... Um, or uh, use them, you know, like I'm going to use these scraps and put in a pot and boil them down to make some syrup. I'm actually probably not going to add sugar and I'm going to add some agave syrup, which is better um, low uh, glycemic index for diabetics or people who are worried about their sugar consumption. But yeah, thought I'd share this with you guys. I don't know what I'll make. Maybe I'll make a video once I do decide. I got um, my cousin here and she gave me an idea and you might see that one. I'm not gonna say yet what it is. Um, if it's a fail, I'll show it. I don't care. I think it's really important to um, to show and we'll, it'll taste good. I'm also looking about it looking good sometimes. But if it if it's not that pretty, you know, I'll share with you guys. I, I I think that we should try to use the ingredients we have on hand, reducing food waste, you know, zero people going hungry. And, you know, I am trying my best to share as many ideas of things that are low cost. And um, see, that one didn't do well. Something, that one broke apart, but I see the little, the pieces. Um, hey, Kay, try this. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're a little too mm. soft for me. I like a very firm apple. But they got a little tartness, a little sweetness. They'll make something really good. And so the idea that Kay gave me, um, it won't fail in taste, but I don't know how it'll look when I get finished. But we're going to try some new stuff with these apples. Because um, I do love apple flavor items. Um, anyway... Just thought I'd share that with you guys. Hope you're all having a great day. All right, be blessed, be kind, and be well.